Welcome to Power Coat Music. In this presentation, we're going to talk about the Tascam DP24 Digital Porta Studio and recording electric bass guitar. This presentation is part two of my previous presentation called Tascam DP24 Digital Porta Studio Recording Guitars. It's important and strongly recommended that you watch that presentation first before diving into this one. Now this is because in the first video, I describe in detail the process of how to connect directly to and record an electric guitar on the DP24 without using a preamp. And I also talk about how to insert and manage internal DP24 guitar effects on your guitar tracks. This process works the same way for recording electric bass guitar, so we won't cover that topic again here in this presentation. The DP24's built-in guitar effects are also usable for bass. They include a compressor, a noise suppressor, a de-esser, and an exciter. An exception for me in the area of guitar effects is that the DP24's amp simulators appear to be designed more for six string electric guitars rather than for bass guitars. With this, some may feel more comfortable recording their bass tracks in a more traditional fashion. In this presentation, we are going to talk about recording your bass with the Tascam DP24 using the following strategies. First, We've already covered exactly how to record your bass by directly connecting it to the DP24 without using a preamp. <laughs> Again, please watch my previous video for details on how to do that. Secondly, in this presentation, we're going to look at how to record your bass tracks using a microphone and an amplifier and also by using the direct outputs of your amplifier if it has that feature. Lastly, for the non-bass players in the bunch, we'll analyze how to record your bass tracks using a synthesizer or a sound module. Now this should be a lot of fun, so grab your coffee and your tea and stay with me. We have a lot of good information to cover and you're not going to want to miss a minute of it. Let's start with recording your bass guitar with a microphone and amplifier. When it comes to microphones, dynamic microphones are most commonly used to record bass guitar. Dynamic mics can handle high sound pressure levels or SPLs from a bass rack and are very good at capturing the low end. Recording electric bass traditionally involves placing one or more microphones in front of an amplifier speaker and experimenting with the placement of the microphone to get the desired sound. This is an art form that takes time and patience, so don't rush it. You'll need to take your time to get the desired sound you need. Now, when placing a microphone in front of a bass amplifier, remember these tips. First, move the mic closer to the center of the speaker driver for a brighter tone. Move the mic closer to the edge of the driver for a softer and or darker tone. Move the mic closer to the driver for a clearer and punchier tone. Move the mic further away to get a more diffused tone. Setting the mic on axis can also provide more clarity and punch. Setting the mic off axis will again provide for a more diffused tone. Lastly, the closer you move the mic to the amplifier cabinet, the more low end you're going to get. Now, let's talk about connecting to and configuring the DP24 to record your bass. First, connect your dynamic mic to one of the A through H inputs on the DP24. If connecting to input H, set the line guitar switch on the rear panel 
to line. Assign the input signal to a mono track, that is tracks 1 through 12, because these are the mono tracks on the unit. When the recorder is stopped, press the assign button to open the assigned screen. Use the select button of each track or the cursor buttons to move the cursor to the mono track you want to assign your recording source. Press the source button of the desired input, that is inputs A through H, or turn the jog data dial to set the input source of the input base mono track that you are using. Press the assign button or the home button to return to the home screen. Ensure that the bass amplifier is on and that the volume is turned up to the desired level. Check your bass and make sure its volume is also turned up to the desired level. Play your bass and then check the audio, audio signal levels on the DP24. Use the OL indicators for inputs A through H and the level meters shown on the unit's display to monitor the bass's input level. If an OL indicator lights, the signal from the input source may be too loud or the trim knob on the DP24 may be set too high. If the OL indicator lights even though the trim knob is set to the line position, the input source signal is too loud. So lower the volume on the input source. The input source could be either the bass amplifier or the bass guitar itself. At this point, ensure all built-in effects are off and record the bass signal dry. This means without effects. First, press the source button for the input that you're using or press the select button for the track you're using to adjust its EQ and other settings. To do this, press the mixer button to open the mixer screen. Press the equalizer on off button on the right side of the low knob to turn the equalizer off. Set the pan to center and ensure that all send effects are also turned off. Now press the record button, play your bass track, and then press the stop button. Now we'll move on to recording your bass guitar directly from an output jack on your amplifier. The process in this regard is exactly the same as the previous one, except that there's no microphone or mic positioning to consider. Connect the output of your bass amplifier jack, if it has this feature, to the input jack either A through H of the DP24. With this, follow the exact same procedure detailed previously for connecting to and configuring the DP24 to record your bass and you should be good to go. Finally, we'll talk about how to record your bass track using a synthesizer or sound module. The raw truth here is that there are many folks who record their bass tracks using a synthesizer and or sound module for many different reasons. In many cases with a certain level of skill, synth bass tracks can be indistinguishable from the real thing. Select the bass patch on the synthesizer or sound module that you want to use to record your bass tracks. Disable any effects assigned to that patch to ensure that that sound stays as dry as possible. With the exception of the compressor effect, for flexibility, wait to add any other effects to that sound until final mix down. This will help to ensure that the bass signal stays as clear as possible. Remember, once you print an effect during a recording, you are stuck with it, and that track can lose power and clarity through the final mix down process. Assign the synth or sound module bass patch to a single output jack of that unit and consult that unit's owner's manual to find out the details on exactly how to do just that. Connect the single synth or sound module output jack to an input jack either A through H on the DP24. At this point, follow the exact same procedure detailed previously. 
for connecting to and configuring the DP24 to record your bass. In summary, no matter what process you decide to use to record your bass tracks, they should always be clear enough with enough power and flexibility to punch through and withstand additional effects during final mixdown. Well, my friends, that's a wrap. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen now to join our group. We have new videos coming out every seven to 14 days and we would love to have you be a part of our team. Also leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think about this video and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify. While you're here, listen to some of the other music, check out some of the other videos and especially the playlist. They are designed just for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you soon.